Salutations friends and welcome to another video of the Soul Harvest campaign and today we will go on to do the Lorrainian Swamplands so let's do it yeah I think this team's fine we have to bring Wraith fine by me I would like to bring Belagar but that beardless face it's it's triggering me let's I'm go with order. Morathi she'll fit nicely it's dark elven lands after all so let's go Light rain falls from an overcast sky as you and the Black Company leave the Greyfell walls behind you. It continues for days. The lands are enfolded in a strange half-light as though the sun has lost part of its vigor. Still, there's a sense of awakening all around you. Children play on the village streets. Farmers work their acres with weary but content faces. Maybe the Queen was right. You think as you retire to your tent after the first day's journey? Maybe this is the cusp of a new era. Sleep comes quickly. Uh, dream? Something's different this time. You? Now that's unexpected. What are you talking about, ma'am? You've come here a hundred times. But your mind was never willing to let you pass this point. Yet here you are, and something about you is different. What is it, I wonder? Did you finally stop trying to outrun your shadow? I have no idea what you're talking about. Now can we stop this folly and continue on to your village? The Dawn Reapers won't wait for us. As you command, General. Where were we? Right. You and I were on our way to meet your Colonel Rickus in Cavill and organize the village defenses. To avoid the roaming orcs that you ordered my son, Kieran, to deal with, we took a secret path. Go ahead, General. Step through. Alright. Let's go on. This should be a short memory. Memory or dream, whatever you if want to you call don't it. Mind my saying, General, I see why my son admires you. You're a good leader. What makes you say that? Well, you're not afraid to put your own life on the line for the greater good. You could have just stayed back at the outpost, but you didn't. For the sake of my village, that's the hallmark of a great leader. Hm. The crown doesn't seem to agree with that. What do you mean? I. There's another Nortandian general serving in Imperia at the moment. Karas. Last week, the Crown decided to promote him instead of me to Major General. Even though he does nothing but sit on his hands all day. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. It's just a title. Huh. Interesting. Man, the details on the graphics, it, it's still amazing. Just look at the water. Awesome. Well, l let's just keep going. All right. Now we just need to follow the road to the guardians. Do you see that? Right. It's I'm listening. a dead orc, so... A dead orc? Huh. What is he doing so close to the village? I don't get it, General. You said they wouldn't arrive before nightfall. According to our scouts, they shouldn't. I'm sorry, I don't understand this myself. Still, no reason to panic. Their main horde can't have possibly made it past the Red Ridge yet. And even if they did, Colonel Rickus is already there. But... It's going to be all right. Now, where's your village? We shouldn't waste any more time. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll show you. Follow me. Okay, let's carry yes. on. Shouldn't take long. Keep it up. Another barrier. And here we are again. I had a feeling this would happen. What? What is this? Didn't I tell you already? It's your cowardice. Yes, you've shoveled away some of the earth. But it seems as though you're still not ready to see the corpse buried beneath. But I understand, Aerith. 
If I were you, I'd be scared too. Now go, will you? It's time to wake up. You bolt awake, save for the chirping of cicadas and the crackling of the brazier in your general's tent. There's silence. With a sigh, you let yourself fall back into your bed, trying to make sense of what just happened. An hour later, just as the blackbirds and swamp pheasants start their song, you get up and take a walk through the quiet camp. The same day, in the early afternoon hours, you arrive at the border of the Lauranian Swamp. According to the maps, the village where the occurrence took place is near. Here we are, the Lauranian Swamp. Hmm, not the most hospitable of places. Is there a reason Dark Elves settle in caves? Because they are easy to defend. I pinpointed the Soul Vanishing to a small village deeper in the swamp. It's off the map, but we should be close. I suggest we take a look at it while the Black Company set up camp in the south. And you're sure they aren't just going to take the money and turn tail? We need them armed and ready in case of any nasty surprises. They'll be ready when we need them. Shall we, General? General? What? Oh, <laughs> yes, sure. Sorry, I... I didn't sleep well. So I heard. Let's be off. I'm here. Right, so let's move on. Okay, there should be some enemies over here, but What's we this? will wait. Some potions. Okay, so Morathi raised a good question there. Why the hell do Dark Elves live in caves? Well, they don't live in caves. Make it good. I'm guessing this it's just this particular settlement. And Calabrock. Okay, let's make a group for her. I want to go Consider and send her done. on first. All right. Here goes nothing. Pale bloods. Oh. By the... Wait, we don't mean any harm. We kill them! Fair enough. Let's do this. Oh. Yeah, these sleepers are no joke. Why... why did they attack us? Who were they? Infiltrators. Dark elven soldiers. Claws, this is bad. Come, let's talk to the survivor. Yes? Hmm? Hello? Are you alright? Right. Okay. Strange. Could read that, but... He doesn't even seem to be aware of us. Reminds me an awful lot of that dwarf we found in Windwall. The one with the archaeologist. Of course. Wraith, what do you make of this? He's empty. I beg your pardon? This man. Somebody siphoned his soul. That's... interesting. Well, to say the least. How do you know his soul's gone? I told you it's my profession. Normally, every living being has a flame which dies if that being's shell ceases to function. This man's body, however, still appears intact. Only his essence is gone. That's ghastly. Yeah, what a way to go. Just like the dwarf in Windwall, then. Not quite. That dwarf in Windwall still had a bit of his soul left. As though only a part of it had been extinguished. This man is gone. Completely and utterly gone. Do you think these dark elves did this? That's the most obvious explanation, isn't it? The question is how they did it. I've never seen anything like it. In other words, someone stole his soul? His essence, yes. He can't hear, he can't feel, he can't think. He's been turned into a hull. Hmm. Then I guess we found the cause of these soul vanishings, didn't we? And whoever is responsible for it. Probably, but let's not jump to conclusions. Let's see what happened in this village first. Agreed. Let's... wait. What's happening? Guardians! What... what was that? He... transformed? He did. Why, though? 
Do you think he reacted to our presence? No. No, I don't think so. It almost felt as though someone did this. You mean, someone knows we're here and turned this man into that thing? Probably the one who took his soul. I suggest we find that village as fast as we can, General. Agreed. Let's stay on our guards. Right, let's continue. I don't thinking. think there's any loot there. Hey, could this irregularity perhaps be a mutation of the Bloodburn? Telepathy, stolen minds? It sounds similar, doesn't it? No. What makes you so sure? Because I did little else but study the Bloodburn after it took my family. It has nothing to do with this. Your family? Let's find the village, shall we? See that bridge over there? That's the... More Dark Elves! Look out! Yes. All right. Let's take a look at that village. And keep our weapons ready. Yeah. Okay, so we get some resources. Nothing much. But every little bit helps. I'm listening. No one lives forever. Tiara's breath. Are they all siphoned? Yes. Just as I expected. Guardians. Now what? Are they going to transform too? We should prepare for the worst. Let's. Uh, uh, the light. Uh, feed the light. The black one carries the mirror. Did you hear that? Yes. One of them is still alive. Hmm? The light, feed the light, the black one will carry the horde. That's strange. Has he been siphoned too, Wraith? His soul is still intact, so no. His condition must have another cause. I know that look on his face. Catatonia. Whatever happened here must have traumatized him so severely that his mind went into a state of shock. Hmm. But why didn't whoever siphoned the village take his soul too? Good question. What's your name? The light! The feed the light! The, the black one will carry the horde! <laughs> right. What happened here? Light! Feed the light! The black one will carry the horde! Hmm. Maybe we could... Hmm. Do you see that? There's a scar on his fore... No. It's a... A word. Samsa. Is that his name? Uh, mother? Uh, is... Is that you? Norse claws. He thinks... Play along, General. Yes. It's... It's me, Samsa. They... They, they took their mother. They, they, they took them all and fed them to the horde. <laughs> Who did? The Dark Elves? Please, tell me what happened here. Uh, I, I don't want to... <laughs> well, it's the only way I can protect you. Tell me, Samsa. Please. Uh, it, it was in the morning, and, and it was very cold, and, and I was at the, the, the village square, and then the masked people came. Everybody was was scared of them, you know. A, a lady led them, but but she was also masked, so nobody could see her face. She she ordered everybody to come to the town square to make an announcement. And they didn't want to, but they had swords, so they came anyway. Then when all the people were there, she raised the mirror. A mirror? The horde of souls. That, that's what she called it. Some people were scared and then they tried to run, but, but the soldiers wouldn't let them. She then said that they'd all feed the light now, and then, and then, then the horde started glowing, and then, and then it started eating people, and then it was so terrible, but they, they just wouldn't stop, they just wouldn't stop. When, when it was over, everybody was silent, so I was silent too. The woman looked at the horde and left Helen's reins the woman we need to find this where there is change there is always resistance now 
It has a face. You're the one he was talking about, aren't you? Better explain yourself fast. Who the hell are you? Oh, only a servant to a higher purpose. Just like you. Now, I would warn you to surrender, but something tells me you will not. Let me see what you're made of. What do you want? Let's call some backup. Guardians, who were they? They fought like more incarnate. Sleepers. What's a sleeper? An elite soldier of the Dark Elven Army. Psychic assassins. They're chosen at an early age and brought up in special homes called Wellsprings. Where the Overseers systematically traumatize them to unlock their psychic abilities. So they're Dreamweavers? Yes. Battle mages incapable of emotions. That masked woman, their leader, was one of them too. And a very powerful one at that. Why didn't she transform the villagers like she transformed that farmer? Good question. Maybe she wanted to save their hulls for later. We should definitely be wary. How certain are you that they are sleepers? One hundred percent. Let me get this straight. You said they systematically traumatized children? In order to unlock their psychic abilities? That's how dream weavery works, yes. No one really knows how they do it, but there are rumors... Rumors you probably don't want to hear. Yeah. What? And the Calibrox citizens know about and tolerate this? It's considered an honor. No, that doesn't mean that there haven't been mothers and fathers of Wellspring children who tried to free them. Yikes. So who's behind this? Do you think they're acting under the orders of the Dark Elven Realm? On behalf of the Exalted Father, you mean? No, I don't think so. Why would the Exalted Father order them to destroy a Dark Elven village? But we'll find out. For now, we should prepare for battle. I doubt these sleepers were the last of the Masked Woman's soldiers. Good. Then let's hope your mercenaries set up camp- Well, doesn't this place look lovely? What happened here, General? We heard fighting. Speaking of Nor, who are you? Pavon Kelwa. Second in command of the Black Company. Now what happened here? This place looks like a troll through a party at Pigsty. Well, we found out who's behind these vanishings, and they're out for blood. I hope your men are ready to fight. Count on it. We've set up an outpost south of here, as you ordered. We found a very good spot. There's even a spire of souls we can use for our purposes. Spire of what? Spire of souls. We can use it to collect Echo. A magical substance we Dark Elves use for several purposes. We have specialized mages in the company, harvesters, who can gather it from the bodies of the deceased. From corpses? Yes. Think of it as spiritual residue. I can tell you more about it later, but now we should get back to camp and make a stand. Kelwia, give us an overview of the situation, will you? Sure thing. While you were busy up here, we've set up an outpost in the south. Not much, but a place to start. And as I said, we also raised a spire of souls to harvest Echo. Now, since we're up against Dark Elves, we should prepare for heavy and regular attacks. Nor's children aren't known for their lack of resolve. You're calling the shots, of course. But if I were in your position, I'd be particularly careful with those small winding paths. My spectres said the Dark Elves have set up ambushes there. On the bright side, we were able to locate their base. You brought a map, didn't you? Here, I'll mark it for you. And that's about it. I'll be at the outpost should you have any further questions. Now, let's prepare for one hell of a fight. Because that's what we're getting. Right. So let's prepare. We do get some units. Where do you need me? Let's get General. the Spectre what is it? back I here. I found this on one of the dead sleepers. A teleport rune. It might come in handy. Thanks. Right. Let's get the basic resources going and... Yes. Yeah. It's gonna take us a while. Still have five, so... Yeah, we can wait on building a farm. Let's get the Hall of Pain. Go ahead. 
Yes. Let's yes. grab a few sectors, especially yes. this one. What is it? Ready. Building completed. Stay tuned. Oh, right. Poor moles. I wish I didn't have to kill them, but they don't give me much of a choice. Ready. attack nothing special they didn't do much okay let's get a couple more spiders ready send them on as bait then we'll kill them with the heroes Everything's a little bit too expensive for now, so let's just worry about expanding. Ready. Keep you here just in case of attacks. I'm listening. What do we the loot is probably nothing special, but we'll get it anyway. Yep, just fangs. Not sure if there are any enemies here, but. Let's send them on in attack order. Right. Let's increase population. So, what's, what's that? Nice! What do you need? Let's see. Okay, they are attacking. Where do you need me? They should bring along their hero they too. To it at last. What now? The company needs more food. Nope, nope. Get back. Do not try to follow. At last. We're under attack. Nope, let's try and save the infiltrators at least. They'll keep sending these attacks. Nothing yeah. special. Once we get a good number of infiltrators, we have no more room for troops. We need to improve our outposts. Nice. What now? Where do you need me? Brothers, get ready. Okay, we won't worry about iron for now. I'll just worry about food. I'm one ready. step closer to victory. We'll be able to the get access to general. We've expanded our borders. Right. An iron or a quarry. So we'll specialize on iron there. Yes. Oof, yeah, that's a lot of food. And we will be able to get some undead from a shrine here. That'll be very useful. Yeah. Let's get some echo. The spiders will do wonders. Okay, let's try and get a tower over there. What now? Stay tuned. Ready? As you say. Your world Ready. Building completed. 
Hmm? Good. So we can charge Jimmy's it. Altar. Hmm. It seems to have an aura just like the one we saw earlier. Then let us see what it can do. Right. We'll charge it later on. Sure. For now, let's keep expanding. Let's get all of the food we can get over here. Let's not worry about iron for now. The infiltrators and the spiders, or the tarantulas, will be enough. General, our research has yielded a new technology. Right, stone cutter. Nine hundred. Hmm. Oof, that's a lot. Yes. Good. Even if they do bring their hero, I think our archers are enough. There he is. Where do you need me? They're under attack. Just focus fire, and he's done for. At last. Do not try to follow. To yeah, it's last. pretty annoying, but they're not really a threat. Good thing the spiders only need food. Okay, yeah. you go there, gather that echo. What is it? We will keep yes. expanding as much as we can. Okay, we do have enough echo. Let's go ahead and transfer it. Just give the word. What now? Our presence here will not go unnoticed. Hmm, they haven't captured this yet. The outpost is built, General. Good. We've expanded our borders. I'm here. Let's just worry about our primary resources. So we have food over here. Your world Stone, and I need another woodcutter. Yeah, we'll just we have to make do with that. We can wait. We're under attack. Hmm, I could go with another... Nah, I think this is enough. How are we doing here? Nice. Does summon 10 undead. That's... yeah. We definitely want that. Whoa! Wait a minute. Get out of there. These and that will be the key to getting that iron ore quarry. Yes. So it must be. Good. I am ready. So this is mostly clear. Let's get another woodcutters here. General, we need more wood. Yeah, he keeps coming, but we can keep getting more spiders. Just give the word. We have here a couple of spiders. Patience, not yet. Yes. What do you require? Damn. So long just to kill two tarantulas? Guess I overestimated them. Hmm. Fair enough. Let's do this. Okay. Stay tuned. Hmm, yeah, let's keep him here. For now, we'll just have to wait until we have decent amounts of wood. 
What Let's now? keep expanding. Good. Get it. You guys follow them. What is it? Get the godstone. Yes. What is it? The enemies shouldn't be that tough, but let's not risk anything. You guys go on ahead. I am ready. Bandits up ahead. Awesome. We should have huge amounts of iron here. The yep. outpost awesome. is built, General. We've expanded our borders. And just in time for their attack. But this area is pretty much guaranteed safety. And we get oh, practical, practically unlimited iron. So that's that. And once we expand, we only have the center to defend. We just need a decent sized force. Let's get a couple of infiltrators. Hello there. Keep him busy. Awesome. Good. Okay. Orders. You get that echo. Time to reap. And then go on here. If you make it alive. You can stay here. Are they healing? No. Well, doesn't really Make matter. Good. No resources or anything? Understood. There is What's loot. It? Let's get it. Let's get more infiltrators. We'll need them. Yes. Yes. Get all of that here. echo. The crab dung will Let come in handy on. later on. I'm listening. Okay, let's keep on going. We can't let them expand. Yes. To challenge us. What now? Let's get this army into group three. Not exactly yes. an army, but. Ready. So they've taken over this part. Uh -huh. That's to be expected. What is it? Take down the Hall of Pain. General, we need barely have enough wood, but we can make it. We just have to be patient. What now? Take them out. There it goes. Yes, get ready. Building completed. You need me. Hmm. Right. Dump it on them. What do you want? Attack! Kill these tarantulas first. Get out of there. Of course, he's coming. I won't let him do much. 
I need help. Yes. Good. Let me focus. I need help. Of course you need help. Get these damn workers to stop repairing. Nice. I need help. Just enough to take down their post. One step closer to victory. Let's get it quickly. The outpost is built, General. We've expanded our borders. Let's transfer more echo, get a few more undead. So, what's the plan? Yes. And now, yeah, there should be a group of undead here or dark elves. I'm not sure. But I'll send in the heroes to help them out. Good. They are fools what to now? challenge us. Ready? Where do you need me? Yes? We're under attack! Oh, just undead. Okay, so it's gonna be easier. We're under attack! Excellent timing, as always. You guys yeah. move on to help, and so we will get the resources. What now? Stay close. That's it. I consider it done. Now we need to get a stronghold here. Decent number of towers. As you know, they are gonna keep spamming. So I do control most of the map. Yeah, there's no wood here. So, let's see. We really need to start upgrading all this. Ready? But for now, let's worry about you guys and their skills. Hmm. Let's go with strength. Yeah, whirlwind is gonna come in handy. Wraith. Call of the Forsaken. Let's go with willpower. Where do you need me? What is it? Yes. What do you Get back call? here. Just give the word. On your order. What now? Nice. Should be able to handle anything they throw at us. But let's keep on our guard here. Right. Okay. Building completed. Focus regeneration isn't really a priority. Let's give you more dexterity so we can try and max it out. Ready. You wish. Keep you guys in defensive. They're under attack. Hmm. Yeah, they keep baiting me. I'm not going to bite. Yeah, wood Jenny, is pitiful, we but we wood. need to get the capital going. Also, let's go with more critical chance. They're under attack. Yeah, just spiders. As for you, the effectiveness? Willpower, definitely. Yeah, reducing the cost will help me out a lot. What so now? That's more than enough for now. What now? Okay, yes. stop getting bait and. Get me those undead. Good, so that's three. We have a woodcutters there. And why the hell are you not getting anything? Get 
Okay, are they spamming harvesters? They are. I don't mind it. But let's see. Yeah, well, let's get food. Does seem like we have a lot, but once we start getting an army, yeah, we'll need a lot more. Building completed. Okay, you can come here, get that echo. Only need stone for that. Don't need you guys anymore, so... Could upgrade one of these. Probably the woodcutters. Under attack. Well, it's free echo. This way. Time to weep. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Marvelous. Haven't you learned anything? Nice. I was expecting a lot more spam, but they seem to be just summoning tarantulas and attacking instantly. Which probably would be a good tactic if he got more numbers, but no. Okay, let's start. Yeah, I would start. If you guys would do anything, we'll just have to build it again. Keep you guys there. Pavon probably has nothing else to say. Yeah, you guys go there. Keep our army here just in case. Yeah, we can get sleepers. We need iron, and we'll get plenty. Let's just be patient. Wood isn't looking great, and for some reason these guys don't want to build. Right. So once we get... yeah, we already have a good squad of tarantulas and infiltrators. But I would like to get more of them. Yeah, that's 12 tarantulas, so maybe... 20. That should be enough. For now, of course I want more. Finally. We'll just focus on wood here. Have no need of stone. And do the same here with the iron. Yeah, you guys. Pfft, yeah, that's over. We'll get iron as well. Over here, I'll need another farm. Finally. We're getting some decent numbers of wood now. We just have to be patient. Under attack. Yeah, same old, same old. Right. Rathi, yeah. where are you going? Get back here. I know you want to kill them, but be patient. We'll get there. We still have to explore the north here. Yes. Hmm, let, let's go with the heroes. What now? Time for you guys to do something. Ready. Get everyone on defensive. Aha, look at them. So cute in defensive mode. Nice. Exactly what I want. Just stay there and shoot. Oh, 
Oof. Almost one-shot tarantulas. But it's what they're good for, just to get killed. Okay, let's get three... Wait. How much... Building completed. Yeah, just three, so let's get more. Good. Exactly. What do you require? It's probably it nasty stuff here. Just I don't remember exactly. So it must be. What is it? Oh <laughs> yes. More resources we yes. can get, the better. Yes. Nothing much. What do we have here? Sweet, sweet wood. This way. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now to go there, we need to cross this whole area, I think. There should be some undead, I think, up there. Let's expand the farm, get some more guys there. Yeah, let's increase population. What do you want? Oh, so we need to go all the way there. That's crossing into enemy lines. I'm not that sure we'll be able to make it. Let's not risk it. Let's stay back here and increase our numbers. Building completed. Still have one worker. No raw meat. No problem. Let's take that down. No farms, so let's get one. On the road isn't exactly the best place, so we'll wait until this is destroyed. Same thing goes here. Let's get another farm. Understood. We will do hmm. we farm or a forge? Let's get the forge. Or the dark temple. Yeah, let's do that. We don't need that many stone cutters. We have a lot of it, so... Maximize these two. Hopefully I can get basilisks. I think we can. Basilisks and spiders are probably my favorite units in the Dark Elf roster. I can keep repairing these forever. What do you need? Finally some action. So how are we looking here? Nice. So let's get more. Another farm. Nope, You're nope. Sure of this? Get back. Brothers, get ready. There's work to be done. Okay. Building yeah, we can get the basilisk. Awesome. Hmm? Well, they are persistent, I'll give them that. What now? Good. Okay, so there's nothing much we can do besides Building just grow completed. the army. What can we give you guys? Invulnerable? Well... Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of these upgrades. Normally it just gives them abilities. The auto, atta auto attacks? I do like them. Yeah, this is great. Nice, this is also great. Yeah, the Scion, I'm not a big fan of these units. You could... yeah. <laughs> Now you would probably ask me, Lord H, what's your problem with the Dark Elves in Spellforce 3? Don't they look great? And of course, they look Where awesome. My problem isn't even a problem, it's more like nitpicking, to be fair, and yeah, I know a lot of it has to do with multiplayer, balance, all these different units. But yeah, I would say there's only two things that bother me a bit with the Dark Elves. 
One of them is the Echo Resource, the Soul Harvesting System, and also the choice in some <laughs> units here. I would like to talk about this, but getting attacked and managing all of this, it isn't easy. General, our research has yielded a new technology. But I'll try and convey my thoughts without sounding like an ass, because this is a great game still. But yeah, to start, let's see. Yeah, the echo idea, it does seem a bit out of place for the Dark Elves of Spellforce. I don't think they ever dealt in soul harvesting. But hey, these are Dark Elves of Calibra. So they might be different from the other Dark Elves, which is something I do like. Having different, let's say, cultures inside specific races. I wouldn't mind having different kinds of humans, human factions, which would be pretty great having the humans of Northander or the humans of, let's say, Empyria, for example. And you could do the same for the Dark Elves. The Dark Elves of Lar or Calibrock or whatever. And other Dark Elves. I mean, there's plenty of settlements. You could do that. But... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, Calibrock isn't even mentioned in anything before this. So, yeah, it does play into the multiple dimensions part of the lore and the Soul Harvest story, which you'll learn later on in the story. Yes. Let's get this. It's probably just crab dung, but we'll get it. At last. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Echo thing. Ready? I'll strike from within. Yes. But I won't say it's just it ruins the mean? dark elves. Yeah, it, it doesn't. What now? I would rather have them as more yes? hmm. let's say pure magic stuff with brutal magic like they were in Spellforce 1 and 2. So units like mean? the infiltrator. Yeah. It's a bit disappointing the choices in units they made. Yes? But again, I, I'm i taking this as... these are a specific type of Dark Elf. So these are the Dark Elves from Calibrock. Both you Ready? and your enemy here. Come to it at last. What do you want? Yeah, that aura is troublesome. Yes? Kill him quickly. Make it good. So I am taking my sweet time because I really want to talk about this for a bit. So yeah, the choice in certain units, the design overall looks awesome, don't get me wrong. Uh, far better than anything in Spellforce 2. Spellforce 2 also changed a lot of the design. And a lot of it was for the worst with the cartoon style graphics. Don't get me started on that disgrace. Spellforce 3 and Soul Harvest fortunately moved away from that. And even if I'm not a fan of some of these units, like the Emissary of Nor, it's like a flying necromancer thing. And the Plague Beetle, also the Spectre. And even the Infiltrator. What now? Which while it's <laughs> yeah, it's a practical unit, it's yeah, the roster has some good units, like the Tarantula works. It's always been part of the Dark Elves. Spiders. Red. The Harvester, we barely know if it's a Dark Elf or whatever. But if you look at the Infiltrator, Red. it's basically just an Elven Archer. Well, it's... And there's nothing wrong with having an Archer. I tend to use them Red. a lot. Yes. In Soul Harvest. But... The Dark Elves, to bring them closer to their identity, you could just... Yeah, I think a, a weaker sorcerer, like in Spellforce 1 or 2, would fit them, yeah, much better here. Ready. So they could have something like what Wraith is here. Yes. Just give them a staff and give them black magic so the and it would be something different. Instead of just another archer, which is basically what he is. Let's get another mine here, and to speed things up... 
Let's get this. And we also have more space for another farm. And now that we have a buttload of resources, we'll get that anyway. Oh yes, the basilisk? I do love them. No problem, we have plenty of echo here. And the oh, same God. goes, I mean, I can tolerate the infiltrator, but stuff like the scion, the exploding thing, completed. this here, I don't think this fits the Dark Elves a bit. Yeah, yeah, the twisted one I can see, since it's basically like an undead Building necromancer completed. spider thing. Which, I mean, it's creative, I'll give them that. General, and the design is awesome. Any of these technology. units look awesome. Yes. Which is Come a bit here. unfair, seeing people just yes. calling them elves, but I mean, it's different. Even the stances, I think, are different. General, our research has yielded a new technology. Definitely isn't copy-paste, but I just wish they had more... Dark Elven Soul from the Spellforce games? Doesn't seem like mag black magic is that present in the faction. Hmm, okay, we get five of them? Such an awesome unit. This, I love it. But yeah, the flying necromancer thing... Why the hell does he fly? Yeah. Nothing wrong with these units, it's just my personal opinion. A lot of people like them. Yeah, you can just go ahead and die, please. Patience, not yet. You require. Okay, wait, get ready. back. You yeah. get back also. Okay, they can't do much. We probably just stole all of their possibilities to grow. Let's check out their camp. Send in the skeletons just so we can see. Our research has yielded a new technology. Yeah, let's get a buttload of sleepers. The sleeper is a unit I'm very... Let's say conflicted on. I love it. But I also think it's a bit too much. Why the hell does he juggle <laughs> a bunch of swords? I mean, I like it, but... For some reason, why couldn't they just do a death knight? Well, I know they want to do their own thing, but... It would be nice to have something from the previous games. And besides the spiders, I'm not seeing much. But still... Right. Why the hell is he spamming harvesters? Okay then. There he is. Yes. Let's have a look. I mean, it I looks good. But again, I'm taking this as these are the Dark Elves from Calibrock. So not all Dark Elves would have these tactics and these armies. But by the end of the game, you'll... of the expansion, and the storyline. Ready. Yeah, I'll share my thoughts on it, and it I do like it. And we can't have the Dark Elves just be the same thing in every game. But I would like to at least if if they only gave me, instead of the infiltrator, just a weak sorcerer, it would change my entire opinion of the faction. Okay, you guys get back here. And yeah, the Scion is awesome, but yeah, you won't see me using them. I just dislike them so much. It's barely a unit, it's just something the Dark Elves use to blow up the enemy. Which is fine. But no, I don't like it. Need something. The voice actors are mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. I love it. Where do you need me? What now? Yes? Good. Yes. Ready? Yes? Do they have a stance? Let's see. No.
Okay. So, let's see. Orders. Grab us some more Echo. I am ready. But again, I, I do criticize the Echo system, but I, I myself don't have a, a solution for it. What would they replace it with? Yes. Hmm. Maybe just give them a system like they had in Spellforce 1. You would kill an enemy and you would raise them as a, a weak skeleton. But that can be pretty OP as well. Need something. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, they have nothing. Which is pretty pitiful. Let's put them out of their misery. Spiders do need four population. How much does a sleeper take? Yeah, I should get more infiltrators. At least five more. The strider... Well, I like it and I don't like it. I'm torn on a lot of these units. The dwarves are fine. But the Dark Elves, I have some problems with them. And again, I gotta say, it's a lot of nitpicking. Spellforce 2 also wasn't great in this aspect. I was not much, that much of a fan of bundling them with the Shadows and the Gargoyles. And the Gargoyles as a faction do seem a bit weak. So... Soul Harvest is definitely better. At least they have their own identity. Where do you need me? Which is more than we can say for Spellforce 2. Hmm, let's see. Nothing we can do here besides wait. Maximize the army. I should have gotten another Hall of Pain. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I am ready. Right. I really need to get at least yes. 20 infiltrators. Because I do like the what staffs team? in Spellforce 3. In Spellforce 1, they're practically useless. Right. You just have to clobber the enemy with it. Time to reap. Over here, a weak sorcerer <laughs> would be awesome. What is it? Here we go. Crescent! Building completed. Okay. I am ready. Ready. 22 tarantulas. Yeah, that's good. We'll get the undead to go on ahead of us. Yes. Yeah. I could use you. So, what's the plan? Stay back. Get us another tower. We're not using that worker. Stay there. Yes. Understood. We need to get a rally point on some place safe. Yeah, let's get them over there. It's taking me quite a while, but we'll be able to obliterate the enemy quickly. That's a lot of sleepers. Yeah, I think we completely wrecked their chances of expanding. They, they really can't get Echo, so... There's not much they can do to get better units. 
They can just spam infiltrators and tarantulas, which is fine by me. Good. And once you get a lot of sleepers together, it does look like, like a circus, but still, it's pretty damn impressive. I am ready. But the voice actors, awesome work. Ready. Poor tarantulas. Building completed. So how are we looking on army? Taking us quite a while. Yes. Could send you to talk to Pavon so we can see if he has anything to talk about. What is it? Get us that echo quickly. Yes. Come here. But yeah, I do, it's, yeah, it's a lot of nitpicking. It's not like I have any solutions. Under attack. But I would be a, a big fan of having different Arkel factions. Imagine that. Good of you to come by. I'm afraid our previous introduction was a bit rushed, so here we go again. I'm Pavon Kelwer, second in command of the Black Company. The boss sent me to coordinate our men and assist you as needed. Pleasure to meet you. And where is your boss? He's currently finishing up another contract with a small contingent of the company back in Calibrock. He sends his regrets that he's not able to come in person. Wraith's request was a little sudden, but the boss was more than willing to come through for an old acquaintance. Rest assured that your coin will go a long way. Wraith's coin, you mean? Of course. The Crown will have full deniability. Anyway, is there anything you need, General? I'd like to know more about the Black Company. Wraith mentioned your Dark Elven ex-military? You got it. Most of us served in the Exalted Father's strength until we defected. We have a few former intelligence as well, mages like Wraith. And what made you defect? Various reasons, but most of us rejected the idea of blind obedience. Serving the realm and the Exalted Father demands everything of a person. I don't know about you, but when my gut tells me something is wrong, I listen to it. The realm doesn't tolerate that. I see. Do you have any ideas about who this masked woman might be? And these sleepers she's commanding? I'm afraid not. But I'm sure we can look into it for you, if you have the coin, of course. We should talk about this when we get back to Greykeep. I'm sure my boss would like to have a word in it, too. Right. Well... Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, we're pretty much maxed out on units. We could get more, but I don't think we need more to waste them. The Basilisk will be more than enough to destroy their buildings. Ouch. That hurts. Just in case we lose some more, let's get some reserves. That way? Let's get our army ready to ready. attack. But again, all the things I mentioned about the Dark Elves, at the end of the game it, it all will make sense. So don't take my biased opinion on it. Okay, you are all just going to die, I want to get information. So please, if you haven't already, please buy the game, try it. You're probably so gonna love it. Plan? I like it. It's, yeah, it's damn sure worth it. Especially now on sale. But enough complaining, let's go on with the story. And he's sleepwalking. Okay. There's probably loot around that I haven't checked. But I don't think it's worth it to just start looking now. Anyway, we'll have to come back here anyway, so yeah, let's just go on. Yes. 
Oof. Yeah, Scions are dangerous. We have no more room for troops. We need to improve our outposts. Come on, you guys are too big. Let them pass. Safeguard our basilisks. The outpost is built, General. We've expanded our borders. Good. Mm. Why yes. I am ready. So yeah, it does seem easy, but it's only don't only sounds easy and seems easy because I spammed the enemy quickly early on. If you let them grow. You will regret it. Good. I am ready. First time I did play the campaign, I played it on normal, and there was a lot of spam. So yeah, don't let them grow too much. Go ahead. I, I need help. All right. Okay. Give me a second. Need Go there. Yes. You guys get here. Reinforce us. The outpost is built, General. We've expanded our borders. Okay, I would like to get here, so let's do it. This. This is something every Spellforce game should have. Awesome, I love reading through these. Get back. Well, they want to be stubborn. Let's bring in the army. What do you need? Nice. Now we can take care of the rest. Is going to be tough. You can't summon undead from the undead, which makes sense. Let's try and interrupt him. Nice. We could bring in the army, but I think we can handle him. Stay there. We're under attack. Just give the word. Finally. Go ahead. Okay. Got it. Time to wipe them out. Send in the tarantulas first. Need something. So, what's the plan? Hmm? Yes. They draw their last breaths. I 
shall bid them the voice acting is just awesome where do you need me you can't say they don't sound like dark elves Ready? that much is true around we have no more room for troops we need to improve our outposts that was all of them where's the masked woman gone probably with that horde she used to steal the souls damn it that shouldn't have happened I agree but at least we now know what we're up against and we did what we came here for to gain information, there's a group of rogue sleepers stealing people's souls and feeding it into that device. For whatever purpose. That's an awfully small amount of information for a lot of lives. Is it? Information is the first step to defeating an enemy. We'll cross paths with the masked woman and her sleepers again, and next time she won't get away that easily. You can count on it. We still haven't found evidence that any of this is connected to the God of Light, though. No evidence, but hints. You remember what that village fool Samsa said? That the masked woman said, feed the light, before she raised that crystal to siphon them. Correct. It might have been some strange metaphor, but what if that's what the sleepers are actually doing? Feeding the souls to the god of light. There is a connection. We just have to figure out the specifics. Yep. If these sleepers were also behind the disappearances Tahar investigated, they were probably also behind Tahar's death, weren't they? Very likely so. I'll make sure to ask that masked lady nicely next time we meet her. Oh, yes, we will. Well, then let's head back to Greyfell and tell the Queen about this. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. There's lots to be done, and we can't afford to waste time. Okay, we got some loot. I think we can give it to Morathi. Well, her gear is already better. The helmet doesn't really fit a Dark Elf. This doesn't help either. But yeah, let's just let her stay that way. We're still just level 8, so we have a, lo a long way to go. Let's go on and talk to the Queen. You cast one last look over your shoulder as you leave the Lauranian swamp behind you. As though touched by the hands of a corpse, an icy cold crawls down your neck. The Horde, the God of Light, it's evident that they are connected. But how? For the first time in weeks, the sun breaks through the cloud-covered sky. You turn your horse around to catch up with your soldiers. At night, you lay awake for hours before exhaustion finally overwhelms you. Samsa's words echo in your thought as you fall into a dreamless slumber. The light. Feed the light. The black one carries the mirror. Well then, the queen will want a report. Right. Before we talk to the queen, let's upgrade... Belgar's skills, and what will I give him? Maximum constitution. Also... Yeah, well... The aura would be good. But I think I'll go with more... Sixth Sense. Let's go with that. And as for armor... Well, we could hide that beard, or that beardless face. Yeah, definitely better. Does Wraith have... yeah, he does have a... let's give her the amulet. Let's go on and talk to the queen. Out of the way. I see. I had hoped for a different outcome. 
But you once again made the best out of a hopeless situation. Which is why it is time to make this official. You mean... Yes, General Erev. You proved yourself worthy. I hereby pronounce you General of the Wolf Guard. I trust you will lead your soldiers as well as you have done before. A lot depends on it. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will do my best. Good. Now, back to the task at hand. Thanks to the Wolf Guard's efforts, we now know that there is a dangerous political movement in Windholm, led by a dwarven priest named Arrakis. Furthermore, the soul-vanishing Skadar observed is real, and it's a group of rogue dark elves, led by a masked woman, who are responsible for it. And there are hints that it's connected to the God of Light. This means that there are three questions we need to find answers to. One, who are those sleepers? Two, who or what exactly is the God of Light, and how does it plan to enter our world? We hardly know anything about it. And three, how do we deal with High Hierophant Arrakis and his movement? The last thing we need when facing an ancient god is an empire of crazed dwarves. Oh, right. Shouldn't the royal army take over now that we know what we're up against? On the contrary, the Wolf Guard is best suited for any of these missions. How so? Because I want to see these matters dealt with as swiftly as possible. Mobilizing the royal army would mean a lot of discussions with the other noble houses, for which we lack the time, and I lack the patience. So you want to make all these issues Nortander's responsibility? What other choice do we have? Do not misunderstand, General Erev. I, too, would rather focus my efforts on rebuilding the country. But both the matter in Windholm and these masked Dark Elves pose a threat to our Empire. And I will not stand by and hope someone else will take care of this for us. Yeah. Your Majesty, regarding to Har- I know. You think those sleepers behind the Soul Harvest are responsible for his death? It's very likely. Tahar was examining the disappearance of a village when the ambush happened. And, judging by a conversation I had with the mortician, the wounds match the swords of a sleeper. So it wasn't X purity after all? Probably not. Well, we shall know for sure once we identify the sleepers and bring them to justice. Another reason to see this through. Absolutely. Agreed. I still... I'm still salty about his death. I mean, I'm not the biggest Tahar fan, but you did introduce him to the story and give us a full campaign with him, or her, and just end it again like that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Alright. And how do we stop Arrakis without starting a war? With the help of someone who is on her way to Greykeep as we speak. We will confer once she is here. Someone? You shall see. Where should we start looking for clues regarding the rogue sleepers? Well, the first step should be to contact Exalted Father's ambassadors, and... No. Excuse me? Dark Elven governance is... complicated. Even if we were to send an emissary right now, it would take us moons to even get an answer. Then what do you suggest? We reach out to a contact of mine, the leader of the Black Company. He knows all the dark corners of the Dark Elven realm, and I'm sure he can dig up some information on those rogue sleepers as well. With your permission, I'll send a messenger and arrange a meeting in Calabrock. You have it. General Arif, you will accompany Skadar and see if this mercenary lord has anything worthwhile to say. Oh, he will. Fair enough. Any ideas where we can find information on the God of Light? Remember when I told you that I've been following a lead? Turned out this one wasn't a dead end. We already knew that many religions mentioned the God of Light, albeit under different names. There's one in particular, though, that sparked our interest. The Alyani. The tribe indigenous to the Howling Steppes? How can they help us? Well, unlike other religions, their entire faith revolves around the God of Light. It plays a pivotal role in their culture. Hmm. So you want to travel there and find out if they know anything worthwhile, correct? I think it's worth a try. Agreed. General Arif, you will travel to the Howling Steps with a division of your best soldiers and find us some answers. Understood. It appears that we have a plan. The quicker we follow up on these matters, 
the better our chances of stopping the rock slide before it crashes down the slope. Good luck, and thank you for all your service. You have done well. Tell me this is a joke, Ambassador. Tell me this is a bloody joke. I'm afraid not, Commander. Nice, we finally get the hood. Let's do it. We'll need all the extra focus we can get. I've served the crown for 30 years. 30 years! And now she discards me like an old pair of boots? The caravan's safety was your responsibility. And by walking off with that recruit, you endangered all of us. I'm sorry. You were only two years from your retirement either way. And the incident will not impact your pension. The crown will not let you go to hell! <sighs> Oof. General, is there anything I can help you with? Right. So, so long. TR's we'll leave light. this for our next video. We're done with the Lorrainian swamps and we know what we'll do in our next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. And leave a like if you did and I'll what see you next it? time. Goodbye.